today we'll discuss about diabetes and how to prevent diabetes how do we reduce the risk of one person getting diabetes the most important thing is to prevent obesity reducing weight reduces the risk number 2 is eating healthy so our portions must be small our calories must be low and we should eat a variety of fruits and vegetables the other most important thing is exercise exercise must be very regular and we should be uh, exercising at least 30 to 45 minutes a day reducing stress levels sleeping well stopping smoking and uh, following up with a doctor regularly and taking the medicines properly would go a long way in reducing not only one's risk of getting diabetes but also preventing complications if one is already a diabetic Today I will talk about dietary modifications which are required to prevent diabetes. One is to eat healthy and what is healthy food? Eating green vegetables, not of fruits, avoiding processed food. Basically you must avoid white rice, pasta, bread, sweetened beverages, sugar laden fruits and also we must avoid fruit like cool drinks, we must avoid sweet laden coffee, tea and avoid dairy products as much as possible. We must stack up on high quality protein which comes from eggs, beans and nuts and also good quality oils which again come from olive oil and nuts. We must avoid trans fat and bakery products which contain a high amount of uh, cholesterol laden oils and these are not healthy for you. And also we must avoid processed foods like which come with processed meat, processed bakery products and the like. A daily exercise and eating healthy will go a long way in modifying the sugar levels and also reducing the cholesterol levels in the body. But high cholesterol and high sugars are not conducive for a good heart and therefore reducing the quantity of uh, cholesterol, trans fat and the amount of sugar we consume will also reduce the diabetes as well as, as, well as the cardiovascular risk in these patients. of glycemic index. So what is glycemic index? It's the amount of glucose that rises after eating 100 grams of certain amounts of food. Foods which increase the glycemic index beyond 100 are called high glycemic index. Portions which do not cause a spike in blood glucose come in the low category and a number of foods that come in the intermediate category of glycemic index. Therefore knowing the glycemic index of different foods will help us to select what kind of foods are good for controlling the sugar as well as controlling the long term reduction in blood sugar. Therefore, now the glycemic index laden foods, so suppose foods with low GI, green vegetables, most of the fruits, raw carrots, kidney beans, chickpeas, lentils and bran breakfast cereals. Anything with bran or high fiber can also be included and they come under the low GI index. Medium GI will be sweet corn, bananas, raw pineapple, raisins, oatmeal and multigrain products like oat, bran or rye bread. Categories of high GI foods include white rice, white bread and potatoes. Therefore this will help us to decide what kind of food we will be eating and how to avoid spikes in blood sugar. All these are done with the view of controlling the diet and also reducing the calories and increasing the fiber in the diet which will ultimately control the blood sugars and cholesterol. So today, I will stress on the importance of eating at regular set timings. When we eat at regular set timings, the fluctuations in blood sugar levels can to a great extent be contained. Therefore, high blood sugars, low blood sugars can be avoided by eating at a particular set time. And we should also aim for a moderate and consistent portion sizes, meaning that you eat the same quantity of food, same portion of food every day. It's better to avoid binge eating and trying to starve the next day because binge eating will push up the sugars very high and starvation can lower the sugars to a dangerously low level. To avoid this eating on time, eating small portions of food, eating high fiber food and trying to maintain this throughout 
the week and continuously will help to maintain the sugars at a steady level. It will also avoid the problems of low sugars which can be dangerous in diabetics as well as consistent energy levels can be maintained by maintaining a regular food time.